Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial. This time we're back on desktop mode again, a rare site I know. And we're just going to do a tutorial which is kind of meta right now, which is about how to make tutorials. This is going to be a sort of multi-part series because um, there are a few things to show, some in VR, some out of VR, so we're going to do the out of VR things first. So this is going to be part one, setup. So over here I have a new Chrome window, and you're going to need two things. Uh, you're going to need OBS, so if you just go to a new tab, type in open broadcaster software, or OBS, actually just type OBS because that's nice and easy. I'll put these links down below in the description as well, just so that you know that you've got them. Once you're here on the OBS Studios website, download the version applicable for your operating system. I'll be using Windows from now on uh, for the rest of the tutorial. Uh, if you're not using Windows, uh, you probably know more than me, so uh, good luck. If not, please just ask below or uh, on Discord or whatever. So I'm going to click Windows here. It's going to download an exe, we're done with that tab, I'm going to go ahead and say OBS WebSocket, which is the second thing we need, again, check the links in the, in the description, first link on Google, um, go to download, it will be here, I know GitHub may be uh, confusing as it's a more sort of technically minded website, but just uh, go ahead and scroll down to the Windows installer, again if you're using other operating systems let me know if you need help, but you'll probably be okay, um, and then we're done with that, so we're back to the SVR home. Uh, I appear here every now and again. Um, so now there are two exes on your download bar. So just go ahead, open up the first one. Here's the OBS installer. We're just going to click next. It sure is already running. So I can't show that, but uh, just click next, 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 next. It will install and uh, you'll be good. Uh, then next to it, there is the OBS WebSocket. Just next it. Um, and it's again going to ask me to close the applications, which I can't do, but just next, 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 and it will be fine. Uh, exit the setup from that, and then you'll be good. I'm going to pull over my OBS now, because once that's running, you should have it in your start menu. My start menu is going to look a little bit different. That's because I'm using a uh, version of start menu called Classic Shell. I'll put that in the link in the description below as well, just in case you're interested. Uh, I don't um, I don't like the like Metro stuff, so um, I use uh, Classic Shell instead. So here you'll... Uh, Leave a seat up here, I've actually pinned it up here, or you can just go ahead and search her at OBS Studio, there you go. I've got like seven different versions of it, it's a long story. Uh, but OBS Studio, um, open it up, and then I'm going to drag across what happens here. And now you won't see this, and I'm going to quickly go to this scene so we don't get any uh, duplicate text here. Um, once you're here, you're going to need to set a few things up. Uh, I'm going to go through that with you. Uh, we are actually going to have to go back to... How are we going to do this? Let me just hop this across. Sorry, recording OBS with OBS is kind of difficult. We're going to hop into settings. Can I pull that across? I can pull that across. Uh, so these are the, the setting window for OBS. And again, it looks very complicated. It might not look exactly like yours, um, but that's fine. Uh, everything should be in the same place. It has been for years at least. I'm going to go down to output here, and we're going to go ahead and ignore all of the streaming stuff. If you want to stream, there are plenty of streaming tutorials out there for OBS. This is specifically for Neos. Um, underneath here is a recording path. I just set that to D videos and it says generate file name without space. I don't like space in file names, so there we go. Recording quality, same as, um, as stream and then recording format, MP4. It's give you a bunch of warnings here about like um, MP4s being unrecoverable if your computer crashes. That has happened once to me. If that happens, I just re-record it again. My video tutorials are about sort of 10 minutes, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I have them all inside my head and I just record them. Uh, so with that done, I'm going to go ahead and go to video. And then you'll see here, my base canvas resolution is the resolution of my monitor, which is uh, 1440p. Um, I downscale that to 720p uh, for streaming, and it uses the sharpest scaling possible. This is because I have a quite good computer. I've got things capped at 30 frames a second because uh, 60 FPS video isn't isn't needed for anything other than real, like gameplay footage or films and stuff like that. Uh, let's check output, looks good. Uh, for audio, um, there's a bunch of like stuff in audio. Oh dearie me! There's a bunch of stuff in audio. Um, just make sure that you have a mic device set to default, and that the desktop device is set to your desktop audio device. You'll see mine says not connected. That's because I don't have my headphones plugged in right now. I'm using a different type of headphones. But I could select one of these here. Um, just look for exactly the one that you're usually using, or just set it to default, and it should be fine. Um, I don't use any of this other stuff. I have no idea what it does. Um, in general, there's a bunch of stuff. I don't know what it does. Inside stream, you'll see I've got things set up to stream to Mixer. This isn't a streaming tutorial, so we'll go over that in another video if you're interested. Inside advanced, I um, have a file name formatting here, which I can copy and paste. It might be the default, but I don't know. It's just what I like the videos to be called. Um, 
that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, there might be something in... Uh, something else I can remember. Oh, actually, I have a, a um, NVIDIA card, so I've set the encoder for the uh, video to be NVENC. If you don't have an NVIDIA card, you won't be to use NVENC, um, but you should have uh, some sort of encoder that can help. Uh, again, look for a streaming tutorial if you'd like more information. And I honestly um, don't change this a lot. Like, I changed this a long time ago, and I followed uh, the appropriate resourcing there, and I haven't really changed it since. Um, hit apply, and then you're done. Uh, if this was streaming, that'd be a different story. Like I know a lot about streaming, but for recording, I just leave the settings as they are. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go back over to the tutorial intro here, and I'm going to go ahead and select uh, this base scene I have. Base is the one I use for Neo's tutorials. It's just called base because I'm lazy. I'm going to rename it right now. If I hit rename, I can just do Neo's tutorials here. You'll see I've got a bunch of scenes on the left here. You really only need one, or at least I only use one in game. Inside here, there's a game capture. It's called game capture two. I already don't know why. I'm going to rename it and call it Neo's as well. Let's rename it again, give it a nice capital. It does. It deserves the capital. Oh, you can't see this. That's a good point. Uh, desktop tutorials. Uh, if I go back to there, then it's going to do that. We can do studio mode to fix this. So if we go to Neo's tutorials, Neo's, there you go. So again, here I rename it on the left to Neo's tutorials, and then I am renaming it here to Neo's as well. I'm in studio mode right now. What studio mode does is a traditional sort of studio setup where you can take a transaction so between scenes. So I can prepare a scene on the left here, and then when I push transition, it will take it. Uh, taking is a uh, sort of terminology that uh, um, broadcasters is actually used for when you know something actually goes live to the screen. Um, you might have seen buttons of take on it on like big panels, etc. That's what the transition button does. Um, and you'll see when I transition scenes, it usually does like a weird star wipe. Um, I'm very meany, so I have Comic Sans for everything. So you'll see here, this is Potato, this is Comic Sans. Uh, setting up when I use for streaming is also Potato now. I'll have to fix that later. Who knew? Anyway, here, this is a game capture. To get that, you go into the bottom here and you um, add game capture. When it's on game capture, uh, you'll get the same panel. Oh, not that one. Uh, properties here. Uh, and here I just do capture specific window in ESVR. The reason I do that is because um, it can just do capture any full screen application, but because of the whole nature of VR, sometimes it gets really confused and just goes like, I'm going to capture that really small window that Steam VR has because it's like always on top or something. So I'm just like, nope, please just find exactly in Uh And then we're going to go ahead and launch Neos. I'm going to do that right now. Um, so if we go ahead and go to Steam. We're going to go to Neos, we're going to go to Play, I'm going to launch it in desktop mode, so I do this, this, that'll be screen mode, there we go. It's going to go ahead and launch, I'm going to Alt-Tab back to uh, OBS and make sure that we're going to be capturing that, yep, there we are. So you see on the left here we've got... We're capturing Neos, and the reason again here is right at the bottom here, we've got properties, we're capture specific window in ESVR. You'll see it's loading into my uh, home world, and uh, that's all you need to do. Uh, the next thing we're going to do before we hop into VR for the next tutorial is we're going to go into Neos here. We're in desktop mode, so we're going to go over to the um, tools panel. Let me just, let me just take that transaction so it's uh, big on the video for you. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go into um the tools menu and we go to camera streaming and uh, you see there's my avatar we're gonna hit the obs window here these are all default settings i'm gonna hit connect and it should say obs connected and it'll say we're recording because we are recording we'll cover this particular ui later but we need to make sure it works if this does not say connected alt tab back to uh to obs uh, let me just transition back here so you can see the, the two views again. And you go to the top and you go to Tools. Uh, is it Tools? Yes, it is. Tools, WebSocket Server Settings. And then here you're going to just make sure that this says Enabled. You're going to make sure that this says 4444 as in four fours, four fours. There are four lights and there are four fours. Do not check Enable Authentication. Um, you may need to do that if you're in a complicated sort of public network, but most of you um, should be at home, etc. Um, and OBS WebSocket is a really obscure thing. Uh, this doesn't mean that people, um, other users on Neos can access your uh, account. It just means that they, uh, it's used for people on the same network as you, so people in your house, etc. Or if you have that port exposed to the internet. Most of you won't, so just don't enable authentication. 
System tray alerts might be good um, if you want uh, desktop-based system tray alerts. I don't really know why it's on by default because it pops up here in the system tray and I'm in VR, so I wouldn't see it anyway, but uh, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to hit OK on that one and we can see it, it's, it's already good there. So I'm going to tab back over into Neos and I'm going to hit stop streaming and that's part one for you.